Welcome to IOQM problem solving session. So today we are going to solve a problem from IOQM 2024. Let's solve the 10th problem of IOQM 2024. It talks about determining the number of positive integral values of P for which there exists a triangle with sides ABC and satisfying the given condition. So first, let's note down the ideas. P is natural number and ABC represent sides of a triangle. So at first, let's simplify the expression. See, the expression can be written as A square plus 3B the whole square minus 2 times of A into 3B plus PB the whole square plus 3C the whole square minus 2 times of PB times of 3C equals 0. Now this imply A minus 3B the whole square plus PB minus 3C the whole square is 0. So sum of two squares is 0. And what it means? It means each of them individually must be 0. Because we know squares are always non-negative, right? So each of them individually must be 0, making A equal to 3B and PB equal to 3C. So this leads to writing the triplet of sides just in terms of one variable. So let's write everything in terms of B. So you get A equals 3B and B equals B and C equals PB upon 3. So now let's case work on P. How should I case work? Case one is that P is less than 9. And what does that imply? The reason behind this assumption will be trivial later. First, let's be convinced that case wise is a better idea here. So P less than 9 imply P by 3 is less than 3, or in other words, PB by 3 is less than 3B. So that means out of these three sides of the triangle, 3B is the largest side. And the triangular inequality can be consolidated to just a condition. What is that? Largest side must be less than some of the other two sides. So hopping on with that condition, we get 3B to be less than B plus PB by 3. So remember, this is both necessary and sufficient for the existence of triangle with these sides. So this shall imply PB by 3 is greater than 2B, imply P must be greater than 6. So what are the possible values for this case? P equal to 7 and 8. All right. Moving on to case 2. Case 2 is relatively simpler because the the complement of P less than 9 should be P greater than or equal to 9. So this imply PB by 3 is greater than or equal to 3B. Or in other words, PB by 3 is the largest side. So we get PB upon 3 should be less than B plus 3B for this case. So we would get P less than 12. And this gives the possible values as 9, 10, and 11. One should not go to 12 because it's a strict inequality. So hence, there are five possible values of P, namely 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So five is the answer. 